So usually um, this presentation takes about two hours, so to fit it in 20 minutes is a bit of a challenge. Um, I'll start with a, a real quick overview. Engineera, we used to be called New Paradigm. Uh, we're a research think tank that's located about two blocks from here at King and Church, run by Don Papscott, uh, the author of uh, again, a dozen business strategy books. And since 93, we've been leading a series of syndicated research programs that look at the role of IT in competitive advantage in the private sector or organizational efficiency in the broader enterprise, including the public sector. And in 2004, we started a research program, 2003 actually, that looked at, uh, it was actually Nick Carr had written some, some work around uh, IT doesn't matter. And so he had a lot of partner organizations that came to us and said, well, does IT matter? And so as we started looking into whether IT mattered in a broad sense and whether it mattered for competitive advantage and organizational efficiency, we started seeing this new world of IT emerging. And it wasn't about, uh, it wasn't about the nuts and bolts necessarily, but it was about essentially a cultural shift of how we saw the organization and IT's role underpinning it. And that really shaped Wikinomics, which is about the open enterprise and a porous enterprise. Uh, and IT is the backbone. And you know, uh, whether it's, and I'll get into some of the, the Web 2.0 components, but in terms of, you know, mobile, the fact that we now live in a world of essentially ubiquitous broadband access for the, for the most part, um, that enables people to access the internet anywhere, anytime, and enables us to move away from this thing. And the fact that now it's, you don't need a computer to access information. And information at the end of the day is necessarily what we post, and it isn't necessarily authoritative, it isn't from your agency. But what your agency may do now may be owned by a variety of different players, and they may range from your civil society partners who you work on projects with to individuals who just have an opinion. And suddenly in this, in this new world where peer, uh, kind of peer review and reputation matters as much as authority, well, all of a sudden this creates some real questions as to what is the future of, of a government agency? What role do they play in a larger, broader ecosystem? And that was really uh, Wikonomics focused on the private sector, and our Government 2.0 program works specifically with a group of public sector partners to see how this world of change affects the public sector. So our... Uh, uh, left button? Left button? See, technology. <laughs> Still, and you know, like, so Don Tapscott's my boss who likes to talk about how the net generation can do no wrong. Um, apparently some of us are less at that. There you go. I'm um, going to the rest of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so government 2.0, uh, as I say, kind of follows in this concept of if the world is opening up, and we see, we, we see everywhere you know, enterprise 2.0 and web 2.0, well, government 2.0 is our attempt. We, don't, we can't define it. You know, it's a relatively, it's a new term. It's a term that's still evolving. It's dynamic. And with the organizations we're working with, we all see them as organizations that are moving towards government 2.0. But what the, that end definition is still in flux. Um, but our, 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 broad, our broad definition of it is really focused on opening up government. What used to be done by one, one agency or one organization is now done by a variety, or will increasingly done, be done by a variety of players around the table who will be individual citizens who will help create public value, who will be in uh, private sector organizations, not necessarily in the old public-private models, but as we've seen in the private sector, we have these new models of risk sharing, the risk financing that enables bigger, broader outputs. But what's the equivalent in the public sector? Um, and then at the, the heart of this, if, if you're going to collaborate with all these external players, how do you do it inside? How do you collaborate across jurisdictional lines, across department lines, or even within a department? And what are some of the tools that do in, uh, that uh, enable that? And I think that's that's more an Aaron side to get into. I'm going to try to give the higher up, the broader picture um, of what works. Uh, so these are some of the groups we're working with. I'm not going to go into this. Uh, Rob Dowler is here from the Ontario Ministry of Government Services, uh, the corporate uh, strategist. Uh, he's one of our key clients that we're working with, key partner organizations. And we've got really a global membership. And it, it's nice because it's actually a, um, it's a, it's a think tank at the end of the day. And we've got a lot of the partners who are doing pilot projects. So as we go, we're learning from them. And hopefully, you're learning from us as we go 